Greetings to you. This is Michelle Strickland, and this is go, uh, a new video that's going to be for a new series called Conversation with Self. And it's going to be me just talking to myself about whatever's on my mind. Maybe it'll be on somebody else's mind. It's going to be an opportunity for me to just, just talk about things that I wonder about, you know, such as choices, you know, um, I don't understand sometimes how, you know, people, we all have choices in this life. And I've noticed that a lot of times, you know, people make, make choices in, in everything that in every aspect of their life and relationships and work and just, you know, where they want to go to eat, where they want to go grocery shop, you know, uh, I'm not confused a bit. Sometimes I don't always understand something, but that doesn't mean I'm confused. I, I just might not have an understanding about it. But one thing that I think of, wonder about is when people uh, in relationships, you know, or when interact, personal interactions with other humans, how how they interact with each other, you know, they're into this, or people, a lot of people are into this, really this energy thing now, you know, you know, I feel you energetically. Yeah, you might feel somebody energetically, but does that mean it's the right thing? You know, when you have someone, when you choose someone over someone else, you made a conscious choice. To be with whomever you chose to be with. And so, a lot of times people get in these situations and then it's like, oh, wow, you know, I'm not really happy with it. So then you want to pull, then you want to look back at the person that you, you left behind for the person you're currently with. And then you want to, well, gosh, I, you... Wonder, did you make the wrong choice for whatever reason? You know, a lot of times people let a lot of things get in the way of making good decisions and good choices. And then when they make these choices, if they're not satisfied with their choices, they want the person that they didn't choose to suffer because they didn't make the right choice. No, no, that's not the way to think. That's not the way to be. They want to long for that person. They want to think about that person and all this and that. They want to grab a hold of their energy in the 5D and pull on their energy. Well, that's not fair to somebody on the 3D who, who, who has made good choices and is waiting on the right choice you know who has to overcome uh you know decisions of bad choices that somebody they were interested in made we shouldn't have to suffer behind somebody else's decisions you know when they that's what they chose so if that's what you chose then you should be willing to live that existence you know and not want to bombard somebody who who you hurt with your with your negative energies of regret because you made the wrong decision. That's not our fault. You know, it's not our fault. And then people expect for those of us who who are in conscious minds where we're we're, we're I meditate. I I believe in energy. I absolutely believe in it. I believe in a 5D energy. It has its place. And I believe in the 3D energy. It has its place. You know, when I'm in the 5D, I'm meditating on how to become better. I'm asking the heavenly host, am I making the right decision? I, you know, with what I'm doing in the direction that I'm heading. Have I always been conscious minded? Yeah, but then have I always uh, listened to my higher conscious? No. And when I didn't, I have problems. When I didn't listen. 
You know, I'm just a kind of person. I refuse to allow myself to suffer because somebody else's decisions that they made for their life may not be fulfilling them. You know, that's not my problem. And I want other people to get to learn from my from my uh my uh videos that I'm going to record conversations to self. Maybe there's someone else out there that th that thinks the same thing. Do I think? I think a lot. I do think a lot. And I plan a lot. But I also realize that there's a there's a place for each. There's the subconscious and the conscious. And then there's the there's a physical realm, which is the 3D. Do I float in and out of each? Yes, I do. I do. But there's a boundary for each level. And each level requires different modes of interaction. You know? I'm not going to be the kind of person that's going to try to energetically interact with somebody on a 5D level. I'm not going to use my, my consciousness to do that, to try to contact somebody like that. That's not how I'm going to use my consciousness. Because if it's about a person, I'm going to want to deal with them in a 3D way, you know, tangible ways, phone contacts, emails, uh, you know, people send letters. Back in the day, we used to do letters and things of that sort. We used to send letters back and forth, you know, tangible things, you know, 3D level stuff, you know, dates, getting to know someone, you know. It's a lot of it's a lot of illusions going on with people. Conversation with self. Self. What are you going to put up with self and what are you not going to put up with? I determined, you know, I have boundaries. I personally won't put up dealing with somebody that's in relationships. Consciously, you know, consciously, I'm not, I'm, you know, I don't want to deal with somebody who is in a physical relationship with another person on the 3D, whether they're happy or not. Well, we don't sleep in the same room. Well, you got here. I've heard that a lot. Well, I, we sleep in certain, we don't sleep in the same, but you together. You're sharing your resources while well, it's for the kids. Well, that's fine. Be with your be with your family for the children. But don't try to bring in a single person to your, your madness because you in a situation that you don't feel you can get out of. Or you whatever the reason. And I'm not trying to break up people's family. That's not what I'm saying at all. What I'm saying is that there's a place for everything, you know? There's family. That's great. That's a great thing. And then there, there's, there's different ways of, of social interactions, you know? Single people, we want to deal with single people who are single like we are. Now, any single person that... Your self-esteem is so low that you want to go after someone who's already in a relationship. You need to you need to sit down and think about that. Why are you allowing your self-esteem to put you in a place like that? Or in committed relationships. We should be trying to interact with people who have done their work and are truly single, not living with somebody or not married. It's as simple as that. I mean, it's not complicated. And I notice there's a lot of unhappy people that I think that a lot of you people that are in your relationships, not all, but a lot of you 
Well, you use the excuse, well, we don't, we're, 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 you know, we're not in the same, we don't sleep in together anymore. We're not, but you're in the relationship, so you should, you should honor that relationship. You know? I personally wouldn't want to deal with somebody that I knew that when they were dealing with me, they had a family or they was in a serious relationship with somebody else, but they wanted to step outside that. I personally wouldn't want to deal with somebody like that as a single person, because even if they decided to get, you know, step aside from, from their obligations, I would question them, you know? But would you do, you did that to me, so you did that, you know, while you were dealing with me, so once you got with me, is that how you're going to be too? When the next best and greatest thing comes along? When people haven't done the work and have proven that they are in single statuses and that they're divorced or not in committed relationships with people, no, we shouldn't even, have, there shouldn't be even a, being of a crossing there shouldn't be even a crossing paths. It shouldn't even be like that. And I feel a lot of times that that, that the people in the situations, the committed situations like that are jealous of us single people, you know, because we are single. Do I want to be single? No, I don't want to be single forever, but I don't, I'm okay with it for now because I've done the work and I know what type of person that I want to be committed to in my future and what kind of person I don't want to be committed committed to. And that's not selfish. That's having boundaries and having integrity. Have I made mistakes before? Yes, I have. Yes, I have made mistakes. Not knowingly, you know, I don't want to be, or I don't want to interact with anybody that is in a relationship with anyone. I just never, 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 never. I love the Lord. I love the Lord. And I, I don't, wouldn't want to be the cause of anyone's family deteriorating. No, I don't. But this is conversation to self. You know? And I'm like I said, this is a series that I'm going to, you know, that I'm going to start. But this is the conversations that I have with myself. I'm like, I'm, I'm, like, I'm thinking, why would somebody that's in a committed relationship go, you know, try to interact with somebody that they know is single. What's the point for that? And then they get an attachment. It creates problems. Your problems, you need to resolve your problems that you have in your situation. You know? And if you can't do that, dis then separate yourself before you go after somebody. I'm talking about if you're married and it's not working, then do do what a, what you're supposed to do to get out of it. But if you're not divorced and you haven't been separ separated from that divorce for a while and learned how to, you know, uh, do the work to heal yourself, why would you do that? Even people in these committed relationships, you know, if you haven't separated yourself and done the work, why? Why do you do things like that? Why would you come after somebody that you know is a single person that's actually done the work and they're single? They're just living their life. I'm not down in either, either situation, you know, as far as whether people are married or in committed relationships or if they're single. All I'm saying is that for me, conversations to, for, to self for me, I know how to I know how to disconnect. It's easy for me to go, oh yeah, bye. Because here's the thing: when people are wishy-washy, it's usually because they have something else going on already. When they can't really be involved in your life and communicate with you, single people. When when you have met someone and you see there's a connection, but they can't respond to you like a like a other single person would they're either not interested in you or they're in committed relationships with somebody else so don't accept the, don't accept being second best okay no one should have to uh accept being second best to anything you know
People get mad at me, I believe, because I'm single. So what? Because I'm not going to accept less than what I feel like I deserve. And if I never find that person, then I'm just going to be, I'm just going to continue with my single life and doing what, what the heavenly host wants me to do with my life and try to find contentment with that. Do I get lonely? Sure. Sometimes. But it's not worth me compromising my integrity and breaking up somebody's household just to have somebody because I would never feel really satisfied with them for that. I just wouldn't. And I resent people that, that reach out and do things like that. I don't really have respect for that, you know? And I'm not going to pour my energy into consciously thinking about somebody that's not available to me on a 3D level. Why? That's cheating. A lot of people can just fuel themselves just from the energy and with the with no contact. That's enough for them. That's not enough for me. Even if I can feel somebody energetically, that's not enough for me. And I'm not going to allow myself to be held up just because somebody else can't is stuck. That's their problem. If they're stuck, that's their problem. I'm not stuck. I'm not stuck. I, I, I can move forward and I am moving forward. If people are in stuck places, that's where that's the that's the decisions that they made, self. Self, don't beat yourself up because you're single. And you you uh don't want to settle for less self. Don't do that. Keep your integrity. Find your meaning. Find your joy and your happiness. Do something for humanity. You know, reach out. Talk to people about having values, good values. Loving the Almighty. Trying to make right choices. You know, making the best out of your mistakes. If you make a mistake, correct it. Repent of it and move on. Don't allow yourself to be stuck behind someone else physical decisions that they made for their life just because they're miserable self don't don't let yourself be stuck behind illusions and delusions life is too short for that find your happiness find your joy love yourself have respect for yourself choose you first no, you don't never have to be somebody's second. If they can't choose you first, that's not your problem. And then they want to notice you last. That's just like winning a race. That's just like running a race. And there's only three places on a podium for ribbons. There's either first, second, or third. If you can't be first... You're just settling for second or third. Winning is winning. Number one, choose yourself. Conversation to self. I love you, self.